Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing the recording of 15th of September's Golic Blessing. Where Supreme Father wants us to be in a position or practice how to put a full stop. We had spoken about this yesterday. We are talking about it more in details today. So how to put a full stop when our thoughts are running and they are not in our control. So God says in the blessings headings over here, May you be a great soul who puts a full stop to any situation and claims a right to blessings. Now these blessings are gained first by the self. That means you are able to feel good. So that's kind of a blessing. Second blessing is from Supreme Creator, Godfather or the infinite energy. And the third blessing which you will get is from the people around with whom the situation has been created. So God says a great soul is one who has the power to transform himself and first offers himself to put a full stop to any situation. Suppose the situation has arisen, arisen from us, from me, from you, then we are the first person to be humble, be kind, be apologetic, be somebody who is saying, okay, I am the one who is leaving the negative trait and I am not going to aggravate the situation more. That's the sign of a great soul. As compared to prolonging the situation, prolonging the talk, prolonging the conditions and making them elongated. God then says... A great soul is one who has the power to transform himself and first offers himself to put a full stop to any situation with I have to do this, I have to change. And they are not waiting for somebody else to change. When you offer yourself in this way, you receive three types of blessings. Now this is very important. First, you receive blessings from yourself. That is, you receive happiness and we feel peaceful. Imagine being in a situation where everybody is complaining, blaming and pointing fingers as compared to you saying sorry, I'm, I'm being humble, I'm being kind and I take the step first step, and fine, I'm wrong and you move out of that circle of fire. You receive happiness, you receive peace and you are feeling blessed at that time. That is a blessing. Second, from the father and third, from the Brahmin family or the world family or the person with whom you have been in that situation. Therefore, do not be careless and think that this happens all the time. So what? He said something, I said something, she said something and it's okay. It keeps on happening and it happens and that person is going to hold on to his version, I'm going to hold on to my version. And God says this is not the way to feel the first thing, that is happiness. That means we are going to always feel unhappy within, we are going to always feel a mood swing within because the energy of transfer which is happening between the two people who have created the situation is going to be very negative and no matter how far you are it's a soul to soul connection it's an energy to energy connection which is what we have to understand in spirituality then god says therefore do not be careless and think that this happens all the time and that it is fine if it continues i got angry he got angry it's okay i'm the boss he's a subordinate i had to shout at him it's okay no Put a full stop, transform carelessness and become alert. Now, this is what you are doing for your happiness, huh, by the way. And second thing, in the eyes of God. If you are somebody who is an atheist, at least do it for your happiness. If not for God. And to make the situation better. And to remove the karmic bondage. This is what has been explained in today's blessing, beautiful blessing. And if you want to learn more about it, Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University is there for you. You can get into details about it over there and ask your questions with this Om Shanti.